We did the Norfolk Show Garden last year, which the children absolutely love doing. I've made out of a pond, a wigwam, which is somewhere, uh, the be a bench. The bench. Yeah, the bench is right there. Bench, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and a load of the tiles and stones that everyone decorated and the welly planters, it was a well-being garden basically. There were quite a lot of wellies, we had to yeah. surround the garden with them. So lots of fun was had with that and we were lucky enough to win which caused great excitement. Um, with great thanks to the Norfolk Show and to Edgefield Garden Centre, we have been able to fill the garden with some beautiful plants that to make it a sensory and a well-being garden. I think it's a place to be mindful. I think it's quite peaceful in here and it's a place where you can be calm and de-stress yourself when you're a bit stressed. We want all of our children to feel part of this garden and so the children who are still at home have been asked to make stones for the garden so we've got some wonderfully decorated stones to go round the edges so that the garden belongs to all of the children in the school community. This has been a perfect opportunity to look at the garden and see how the garden can be developed to support the children's well-being when they come back to school. They're going to need to talk, they're going to need to share how they feel um, but they need to be able to do that in a natural environment and what better way to do that is gardening. Um, over the last few weeks we've had key worker children in school, we've had year one, um, year, a reception and year six back to school and they have absolutely loved being in the garden, having that opportunity to be at one with nature, um, talk about the different plants, look at the different um, textures of the plants and really use that opportunity to talk together and get that sense of peace and calm. Over the coming months as we welcome more and more children back to the school, I want to look at how we're going to use the garden within the curriculum so that all the children get a chance during the school day to be out here. The garden gets used at play times for them to sit with their friends and them to talk. And also, I think something we shouldn't forget is the garden gets used by the staff as well because during this time we can't sit in the staff room together but that doesn't mean we can't come outside to sit and talk and if you've got a happy staff you actually have happy children and that's what the legacy of this garden for me means and I'm really really happy that we've been able to have the time and the money invested now to support the future um, and I think for all of us being outside has been something that through lockdown we've had a real benefit and it helps you feel calm um, and feel peaceful.